Hello viewers, and welcome back to Mega Man The Power Battle. I will be taking on the final course this time. Using our last remaining character, Proto Man. This one just has Robot Masters from Mega Man 7. And they might have been trying to promote that one a little bit, because I believe... I believe this game came out the same year as Mega Man 7. Ready? Go! So I just let the roulette pick and it picked Shake Man first this time. Seems to, for the most part, be fighting like he did in Mega Man 7. Crash noise. I think that's supposed to be crush noise again. Um, that was that was something I was going to mention. I have I do have the Japanese version of Mega Man Seven. And it is it is called the Crush Noise. For some reason, they changed it to the Noise Crush in the in the American version. Don't know why. Same goes for some of the other weapons. In that Hey, dude, stop. Stop blocking. Turbo Man has mostly the same attacks as he did, but... The way he uses them is a little bit different. Especially since hitting with a noise crush doesn't knock him into the same pattern as before. And for some reason, the game... The game's sound glitches like that, that that little delayed reaction that went on there. From him we get the burning wheel. Again, for some reason changed to scorch wheel in the, in the US Mega Man 7. This time that would be Cloud Band's weakness. For the most part, this game, these guys follow the same uh, weaknesses, only taking into account the fact that we're missing Burst Man and Spring Man. Of 
didn't even touch it from the side. Oh, video game logic. Anyway, down goes Jumpman. Junk Shield was a really nice shield weapon in Mega Man 7. Here, though, it is horrible. And we're gonna find out why in just a second. Like in the original game, it's supposed to be Freeze Man's weakness. But, but like with the other shield weapons in this game, you probably have to hit him with a projectile in order to deal much damage, which the way it fires off is very... it's very difficult to aim it that way. Also, if you recall from my first video, um, they played Freeze Man's theme for, I for the fighting Iceman, but... But now we actually fight Freeze Man, and it's playing Gemini Man's theme. Like the other example I pointed out, that's... I always found that kind of weird. Does fire work well on you? No, no. I think ideally, ideally, I would have liked to have fought Freeze Man first. I probably shouldn't have let the roulette be able to pick this one. There we go. Look at that, I'm almost dead again already. The Mega Man 7 robot bastards do not play around. Freeze Cracker more or less works like it did in Mega Man 7. And another reason I should have fought Freeze Man first, Slash Man is going to be a bitch to fight last. As it was, this is a Mega Man 7, it's very agile. Tends to jump over my tends to jump over my attacks a lot. He himself can hit pretty hard sometimes. And like I said, the awkward keyboard controls are not helping matters at all. Fight Van Pumpkin. Mini boss from Shade Man's level. And like in that game, you can hit it either, either in the core or in the eyes. And again, Thunderstroke works really well. Oh, he's dead already. That might have been one of the easiest fights. <laughs> in this run. And now for one. So 
Slash Claws is weakness this time. That's always a tough one to avoid when he's got you in the corner. Or he brings one of his hands down in front of the bar. said if he does escape it doesn't affect things at all. All it does is affect your score a little bit. So Proto Man doesn't get much of an ending, but at least we get to hear more of his awesome theme, which was cut off pretty short back in Mega Man 3 when we first heard it. So that was Mega Man the Power Battle. Not too bad a game, as far as, a, not like a, a full Mega Man game, just like a Sort of like a quick little affair, like you'd, you'd expect it from an arcade game. I always liked the, uh, that graphical, that 16-bit graphical style of Mega Man 7. And I had always wanted to see, like, some of the earlier games in the series done in that style. Unfortunately, this was the closest we ever got to seeing that. But, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time. I'm playing a game!